Mm. Hey guys, on the menu today is old-fashioned tea cakes. So let's head on to the kitchen and let's get started. Okay, guys, the, the old-fashioned tea cakes, I have a recipe from way back, y'all. Okay, so we're going to put it together, and then once we put it together, we're going to uh, put it in uh, some saran wrap and put it in re the refrigerator and let it set up a couple hours, okay? And then we'll come back and we'll roll it out. Okay, so in my uh, mixing bowl, we're going to start with the butter, and everything out here is room temperature. I did let let uh i took everything out and let it sit out probably a couple two or three hours it's been out a minute so we storm with our butter and that's one stick of butter i want to get it all off of here we want all of it okay okay now with the butter we're going to add our sugar this is one cup of sugar Okay, we're going to start our mixer. Once we mix this, we're going to come back and go to the next step. Okay, so we're going to go in with our eggs. That's two eggs. Okay, I always break my eggs in a bowl. That way, I make sure they're free from the shells and any kind of little speck that's in the egg, okay? So we're going to add our eggs, both of them. Okay, and we're going to start it back up. And let that mix. Okay, I changed between this mixer and that other one. This one is supposed to be my old faithful, but she be acting up all the time. You know they always act up. Come on, girl, you play too much. Okay, so we have that mixed in. Okay, so we're gonna go on with our flour. And this is two and a half cups of flour. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit at a time. And that's about half, half of it right there. We're gonna fold that in, or we'll mix it in. And it's coming to a dough-like substance. It's forming it to a dough. Y'all see that dough is coming together. Y'all see it right there? So we're going to add the rest of our flour. And remember, whenever you're baking, set everything out to room temperature. Okay? And you have better luck with uh, when everything is at room temperature with your baking. More luck with your baking. Okay, we're going to stop it right there. Hold up, girl. I got to talk to her. Okay, and then bacon powder. That's two tablespoons of bacon powder. Not the soda, but the powder. Make sure it's all in there. Okay, we're going to store it up. Mix that. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. 
Okay, let's scrape down our sides and uh, the bottom. Make sure everything is mixed in. Oh, y'all, it is. Mm. It is mixed. It is salmon real good. Okay. Okay. When you're setting out your uh, flavoring, your evaporated milk, I'm sorry, your uh, vanilla extract and your lemon extract, make sure you set it out right before you get ready to use it. It will evaporate on you, okay? It, the air will evaporate it. So don't set it out when you set out everything else. Make sure you do it right when you get ready to use it. Because, baby, you'll come looking at cup and it's gone. <laughs> it happened to me. Okay, so we're going to add in our milk. That is two, one tablespoon of milk. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And lemon extract, that's one teaspoon as well. Y'all, this stuff will evaporate on you. You're looking for it to be gone. Okay, it's a dough now, y'all. It's a dough. Okay, now now what I like to do, y'all look at that. It's looking good. Okay, right now, what I like to do, uh, I'm going to add in my nutmeg. Now, the nutmeg, I like the fresh nutmeg. To me, it gives it a better flavor. Sometimes, I mean, you can use the ground nutmeg if you want to. And then you can also use the fresh. I like the fresh because it wakes up the, the, uh, the aroma on it and the... You have a bad I'm gonna use this one. And it's just fresh and it uh it to me it works better. So we're gonna put I only need one teaspoon, one teaspoon of the nutmeg. Okay, a little more. want to use the ground nutmeg it's just one teaspoon okay okay so we're gonna mix that in and then I need some uh, lemon pepper um, I done put away my grater y'all but I do need we're gonna mix it slowly Ooh, hey, it's thick too It smells so good. Let me get my other grater, y'all, and I come back. We're going to um, uh, grate in some of our lemon peel, okay? Okay, so I'm going to grate uh, about a half a teaspoon of the lemon, uh, the lemon zest. Okay. okay, so we have everything mixed in. Uh, we're just going to mix this a little bit. Make sure you have a clean service, guys. A good cook is a clean cook. Make sure you have everything clean. Okay, so we're going to mix this in and then we're ready to uh, put it in some saran wrap and let it set. Okay, I don't want to tear my mixer with this dough, y'all. This is 
Y'all see how it formed? It formed really nice. Okay, let's put some here. Okay, so we're gonna get some saran wrap and we're gonna wrap it and let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours or until we get ready to roll it out. And it's a dough, y'all. Check that out. It made a dough. Mm, mm, mm. And it smells so good, so we're going to wrap it in our saran wrap. And we're going to put it in the fridge and let it sit. Just like that. When I come back, we're going to get ready to roll it out. Okay, guys. Our dough is ready. It's been in the in the refrigerator for about three hours. I started cooking and doing something else. But it is firm. It firmed up real good. So we're going to use half of it. Let me get my cutter here. We're going to use half of it. Uh, for our first batch. Now we're going to use about, we're going to make two batches. Okay. And we're just going to use, can y'all see? Let me turn it down. Okay. Okay. So we can Move this out the way. Make sure you have a clean surface whenever you cooking, baking. Make sure you have a clean surface, okay? Okay, we're gonna get some flour. I already cleaned my counter off really good. And we just need mounds, a good mound of flour over here. Okay, to work what I do. Okay. And we're gonna got our rolling pin. And we're gonna roll it out. Oh y'all, it's, it's good and hard and firm and okay. Now when you're rolling out your dough for your uh tea cakes, make sure it's about maybe an eighth thick. Sometimes one time I rolled it out too thin and it made my cookies hard okay so you don't want that okay so you want to make sure it's at a okay i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this one okay and just make sure they're about an eighth of an inch thick don't worry about this one it'll be all right Okay, so we're gonna cut them out. And I need one of my pans over here. Now see, about that thick, okay? Don't roll it too thin, cause like I say, the last time I made some, I made them too thin and it was hard. So, well, not hard, but they was crisp. You don't want crisp. Now, tea cakes are between a cookie and a cake. And it's, it have like a cake substance to it. A good bite. Okay, so we're going to roll this back up. Make form that dough again. Now the shortcakes are made a little bit different. Uh, I do have a recipe for it, and I made those before. I'm not sure if I have a recipe on on uh, on live uh, on Facebook, but I do have a recipe for the tea the shortbread. Shortbread are so good, guys. They will melt in your mouth, and I have an order for those coming up next week. 
and uh, I'll be making those as well. Okay. I'm not rolling my dough out real thick, guys. Okay? I'm not rolling it out thick. Okay, let's see how many more we can get out of this. And yeah, y'all, we using all this dough. All of it. All of it. And uh, as you maneuvering or working with it with your hands, that softens it up. Because it was really stiff when I brought it out the refrigerator. It was really stiff. Okay, let's see if we can get about three more out of here. Let's see. And like I say, we don't want them too thin. Okay. So it looks like we're going to get two. And then this one, y'all, what we going to do to this one. We're going to shape it ourselves. It's just a little small one. And we're going to put it on there as well. Now, you're going to put them in the oven. My oven is set to 400 degrees. You're going to put them in the oven for about seven to eight minutes, okay? Keep an eye on them because them tea cakes cook fast. Well, my oven cooked fast. I'm sorry. Keep an eye on them because uh, uh, you don't want them to, to you don't want to burn up the tea cakes. Okay. Okay. We just shape that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna go on and finish the other batch. And when I come back, guys, we gonna have ourselves some tea cakes. And they're all done. Simple and easy. Old fashioned tea cakes. Y'all, that is simple cooking. And amazing sweets. By your girl Cynthia. Mm, mm, mm.